All right, we are at uh, 18 minutes after 7 o'clock, and it's time to check out what you've been talking about online this morning. Yeah, one of the things, again, I just glanced down. I, I kind of figured you were going in this direction, Ryan. I, will, I won't say which one specifically, but I thought there was a chance you'd have this one in there. Absolutely. It wasn't even a question, Bob. And it wasn't even a question to you guys because you were talking about this a ton online. It is a very special anniversary today. It's actually been 18 years since the first Harry Potter book appeared on shelves in the UK. And J.K. Rowling has given Potter fans like me an immense present. The announcement of a brand new story. Um, she says in this tweet, I'm very excited to confirm that a new play called Harry Potter and the Cursed Child will be opening in London next year. It's a collaboration between Rowling, fellow writer Jack Thorne, and director John Tiffany. Rowling also tweeted out that it will not be a prequel, though it is an untold part of Harry's story. The play will also feature music by Imogene Heap, and like I said, is going to premiere in 2016. And next up is another baby for Bristol, Palin that is. She just announced she is having her second child. This comes a month after her wedding to U.S. Marina Medal of Honor recipient Dakota Meyer was canceled. Now we don't know if he is the father and we likely won't because Palin is asking for privacy right now. She announced the news on a blog on the site Pathios going on to say, quote, I do not want any lectures and I do not want any sympathy. Last up and in what is a surprise to no one, Whole Foods is being accused of being too expensive. So weird, right? New York City's Department of Consumer Affairs is investigating Whole Foods for overcharging for prepackaged foods, saying dozens of prepackaged products had mislabeled weights. They said items like chicken tenders and veggie platters cost several dollars more than they ought to have. The grocery chain previously paid $800,000 in fines back in 2012 due to overcharging in California. And now a Whole Foods lawyer says the company has been working to address New York's concerns. Meanwhile, a company spokesman adds the city has not shown them any evidence of this overcharging. And that's a look at what's trending this morning. Caroline in the Morning will be right back.